how long he's been sitting there. Like, he had enough time to call me and send me his location. No telling how long he was sitting there. Three people are now under arrest in connection to the shooting death of Quentin Ford in Bell County. That 19-year-old was found in a wooded area near Harker Heights High earlier this week. His family is devastated, and tonight they're speaking with 25 News reporter Leah McNeil. Tire marks can still be found at the scene where the body of 19-year-old Quentin Ford was found here in Harker Heights Tuesday night, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. You can now see a makeshift memorial behind me that friends and family have set up in his honor. His sister tells me, though, she questions the response time from EMS as well as the charges filed against the suspects. They didn't have to um, shoot him like that. They didn't have to shoot him four times. Kara says she's lost without her other half, her younger brother, Quentin Ford. Kara says her brother called her three times the night he was shot and even sent her his location. Kara says she found Quentin before police did. I want to appreciate the police that were down there giving him CPR on him. But by this time, I feel like he was really almost, almost gone. According to a timeline released by the Harker Heights Police Department, Police first arrived at the scene at 11.12 p.m. An EMS is requested at 11.20 p.m. after police were notified by someone at the scene there was a person hiding in a wooded area. The report says EMS arrived six minutes later at 11.26 p.m. Like EMS should have been on scene. I arrived, there's cops on scene, where's the EMS at? When I found him, EMS should have been right there. Right there. We had to wait 10 minutes till the EMS got there. Kara feels EMS should have been at the scene sooner, but former law enforcement officer Dr. Tammy Bracewell says that's not always how things work. Most cases where perhaps maybe shots fired, calls come in, most of the time only police are dispatched. Even if you have a known victim, police always respond first because they would have to make sure that the scene was safe and secure before EMS personnel could respond. Kara says the family still has many questions and have heard several conflicting stories, but hopes the charges will be adjusted to fit the crime committed. I do want to thank the Harker Heights Police Department for working for three, working days, for three days in a row and finding three, three, these three suspects. Um, I don't agree with what the shooter is charged with. Reporting in Harker Heights, Leah McNeil, 25 News. Leah, thank you. Now, Quentin's mother says she also thanks the police for their work and hopes to work with them in the future to improve EMS response times.